Well, you've certainly noticed we've been missing two of our 4 p.m. team lately. Shay Ryan, Nicole Griggs, so many people asking about them and how are they doing? Well, they're at home recovering and healing. Yeah, we sure miss them. We I miss know. the team and what they're going through. It's something we can all learn an important, potentially life saving lesson from. I found a little dot on my face. A little spot that made a big and forever impression on Holly Keating. When they removed it, uh, it took 43 tiny stitches by a plastic surgeon. This scar seven years later still reminding Holly of the scare. It was basal cell cancer, the least aggressive form of skin cancer. If treated early, like in Holly's case, the patient can usually be spared any severe long-term effects. Yeah, I thought that the spot on the bottom of my foot was just a freckle. Our Nicole Grigg going through something similar, a tiny mole she had removed on the bottom of her foot of all places has kept her off her feet. Two weeks off my foot so far and I still have another week to go. Thankfully, it's not melanoma, the worst kind of skin cancer for Nicole or Shay. Shay's had eight basal cells removed from her face in the last 10 years, all from sun damage. I want those 15, 18, 20, 25 year olds to listen to me and know that you pay the price later. Dermatologist Dr. Seth Foreman says more than 5 million non-melanoma skin cancers will be diagnosed this year alone and more than 100,000 actual melanomas. He says screenings of the entire body, even places you normally wouldn't think about, that's the best way to catch it early. I've had patients get melanomas in their ear and behind their ear as well. This is also a great way to teach people about their body and how to spot anything suspicious. You also develop a relationship with a doctor. Even if you have a benign skin cancer screening, that you have someone that you can call in the future. It's worthwhile to check. Yeah, Shane Nicole really echo that. I've talked to him a lot of late. I know both of you have as well. They say, take the time. It's worthwhile. Get screened. Could be life-saving. There you go. Yeah, I've had it. Jameson's had it. I mean, it, it, sometimes a lot of people say it's kind of the price tag of living in Florida. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess that's true. But if you take the precautions that you need to, you can at least lower the risk a little bit. Sure. And the key to early on. Yeah, and if you're outside working in the yard or playing with the kids, you probably don't think, hey, I should slather on some sunscreen yeah. every time. Yeah, it's true because it is strong.